guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mischief Maker TV. Now I have been here at Trail Hero, but I had a little break filming for a couple of days so that I could just wham bam thank you ma'am on the trails, but we're back. This is Trail Hero. see we're here at Sand Hollow and I'm actually on the woman's ride. Christina is leading it. She's from Lift Off Road. She is holding this woman's ride. There are so many people. It's in Sania in the Membrania and we're at the first obstacle. Now I have tried this first obstacle, the hard line before, and um, was unsuccessful. It's a hard one to do. Um, you have to have the exact line to get up there. I'm gonna give it a go today, obviously, but I wanna show you some of these ladies. trying to do here is honestly just warm those mickey stickies up you know get the side log nice and warm so that it would stick onto the side of the wall on the passenger side but ugh, it slipped again nightmare is this <laughs> you think is this bad is this bad this seems bad <laughs> I think is it's this, I think it's bad. Is, is this bad? 
Is it supposed to be like that? Well, tell me what happened. Why is this happening right now? Uh, <laughs> so, when you, I got into a match with Tony Pellegrino. <laughs> You're looking at victory. If this seems like victory, I don't know if this seems like victory. I did win. You won. I did win. I, I did. I was when? the fastest man on the mountain yesterday for a brief moment. But it did come at a cost. Yeah. We did shred a tire to do it. That's okay. So, but, so Trail Reaper has a black eye yep. right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After winning the belt. Yep. <laughs> the prize fighter, black guy, beat up. I just like to thank all my fans. <laughs> <laughs> so after switching out Scott's tire, it was time to hit John's trail. We started off pretty good, and we got into a little bit of trouble with someone in our group, and that kind of took up the rest of our day. We'll hold him here. You go ahead and get in. You're gonna put the brakes on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, Holly move forward and we're gonna hook this to the back and I'm gonna have you pull him up so then you don't have to fire the motor. tried to actually winch him up but we were not going up so we winched him down that obstacle and tried to get the engine to take over and there was a loud pop that did not sound the greatest so um power tank steven tyler right here have been towing him behind we have trail reaper up front and i am in the tail just to make sure that we all get back a okay because that is what we do on the trail and um pulled his bumper straight off <laughs> figure out another way to attach yeah, yeah. Toyota. Was that, they go around the axle are you live video on live no, are, I'm just are we videoing each other mm -hmm. so oh my goodness so <laughs> Uh, what we're doing now is, so where it was welded is really rough, so Scott is just smoothing that out right now so that when we pull the ropes, the ropes will not be cut. Filming you. Filming me. <laughs> Does it feel like it's not going to cut on it's that? A, it's, oh. not, it's, like a, it's like a baby's bone. Oh, oh, it's it? like a baby's bone. Oh, do we need to pour some water on it so it don't burn? Okay. Alright, so we got the other side. So, because it's going to be slack. So this is going to be moving. Yeah, it might unscrew. Like about like this. Does that everything look okay over there, Steve? I 
Sip time. Make sure that this doesn't go into his. Uh, Uh, nice. good call. Yeah, when it slides out. Huh? You know what? Let's just do it on the other side too. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we got something. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Yeah, my drum box is like, like a shit mess. Normally, you don't cinch them like that. You actually, when you screw one of these things in, you're towing or you know, you're recovering, go till it stops, and then just like a little quarter back. You actually don't want them under load because then when they get loaded, they can be really difficult to get off. But because this thing's gonna be bouncing around, dropping up and down, shifting, we wanna go ahead and kind of cinch that thing in there so we don't drop the pin and, and lose our lose our rig here. Once we managed to get those guys back to their camp, which thankfully was only down at one of the campgrounds, then uh, we headed back out onto the trails. And the maze was a calling us. Holly, just three wheeling it. She has this thing that she does where she just likes to three wheel it. Keep going. Just like that. You're good. Now straighten out. Passenger, passenger, passenger. It'll, it's fine, it'll climb back up. It's, The last highlight of this video is going to be the trail chain reaction and you are going to see pretty quick why it was interesting. Ledge was really, really undercut, and Holly was pretty wedged into it, and bad noises came out of the Jeep. Really bad noises. So, um, something broke. She broke her outer. <laughs> She's like, oh, it's just my outer shaft. That's fine, I have another one. I don't wheel like that. She's breaking Dana 80s. Hence the bypass where my Jeep is safely sitting right now. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for another broken outer shaft. This is number three. The Trail Reaper managed to actually get us out of that very soft sand and we two wheeled it all the way down to Bender's Row. 
Now, I started taking Mischief Maker's front end apart again to find out that no, it was not the outer shaft. I had managed to completely shatter the hub on the driver's side. So, luckily for me, Yukon was there. I went and saw them, had a little talk with them. They gave me another hub and now it was time to get down to business. I had to take everything out of that hub, all the internals out, clean everything and put the new one back in so that I could get back on to the trails. You think a little broken thing is going to stop me? I don't think so. Unfortunately, guys, we are coming to the end of this episode, but there are a couple of ways that you can support the channel if you are enjoying it. The first being to subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and don't forget that notification bell. The second is to become a Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description below. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.